for a long time. He's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet for a long time, though. The title fight eluded him, not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. significant title in combat sports no argument from me baddest man on the planet ufc heavyweight champion there he is in the flesh what an absolute monster what a title reign it has been but a serious challenge in front of him here tonight when this man became the heavyweight champion a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away now the fight is here we'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the octagon has ever seen our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight so these fighters relatively close in age just a year apart with some differences in height but the same reach here's bruce buffer Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five round for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 23 wins, 7 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting! Out of Methuen, Massachusetts, presenting the challenger, Calvin Kaytar. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper and also in every performance we have seen them put on. These guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the challenge. And they are exchanging leather early. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, nice job by him to get the knee to the target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Oh, big punch land. 
flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent can react. Marty closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. And both guys really throwing with authority. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. I need you to kick. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. in our opening round. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Well, that one should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by Lee. Left-right combo is good. doesn't move his head, his night is about to end. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Able inches right there. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Oh, nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Get the turtle in that kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Body kick is blocked. Try to establish that jab. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? One? You don't know when that leg kick's coming. from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these are going to really start to take effect. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Big haul punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Lee gets touched by that kick there. Ah, 
Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. And he landed the right hand there. His opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. It's high. But now he's got hurt bad. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Well, to the left side. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. They continue to exchange. Hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, he's looking to set up that head kick. No good. Big head kick lands. Three minutes to go. Checks that leg kick. Great punch landed with so much power. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Big kick lands. Trying to establish that jab once again. Take him down. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of. Better him than me. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. 20 seconds left to go in round two. Starting to gain some confidence here on the feet, and to that end, there's the roundhouse kick. You know he's feeling good when he's throwing those beautiful roundhouse kicks at every part of your body. Time the shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. And that's the end of round number two. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, He's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. Great job putting those combinations together. He's ready to be KO'd.
All right, DC, here we go with our next round. It wasn't just the accuracy, it was the aggressiveness, the volume. It was unbelievable to watch him be so active. The cardio, the push, the pace, and the pressure that he fought with. It's going to be very interesting to see if he can maintain this over 15 minutes. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Head kick attempt, it's blocked. Beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed his kick with so much force. This fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the point. He mixed it up. He went high. Low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like you can telegraph when the punch is coming, and when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Oh, big head kick lands. Nice head kick. Oh, nice knee to the body. Strong to quite strong there. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Straight punch lands. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chopping down the tree. He beats your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside legs. Next with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Single leg, take down. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Just missed with that right hand. And he caught the kick. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch in the clinch. Oh, man. You jumped out of your seat a little bit after that. Oh, I did because I have time where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Liver kick. Nice defense there, huge block. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Gotta be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Nice. He just out of range with that right hook. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, nice inside kick. Final seconds of round three. He 
Garcia is throwing a fast, straight hard jab. That's not a feeling jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. All right, so a huge round for him there, DC, particularly when it came to the head kicks. Take us through the replay. I mean, those head kicks were beautiful. He was finding a spot. He was wrapping it around his opponent's arms and landing those head kicks over and over and over. He did a good job of really, really setting his opponent up with his hands and then taking those opportunities that were presented to him. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you gotta change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15 minute fight. So you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go that extra 10 minutes. Another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Big leg kick land. He loaded up there on that high kick. Big knee to the body. Going orthodox now. Nice job defensively there as he keeps his hands up, not just protecting his face, but also what is a pretty significant cannot allow that to get hit anymore. Right. Because the more it starts to split, then the blood starts to go into the eye. It not only is damaging in terms of the physical appearance of the cut, but the blood going into the eye almost completely shuts down that side of your face. Big kick. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Look at the angle of that nice body. Back and forth we go! Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Lee's kick attempt, that one was blocked. Nice punch here. It's such a fast leg kick. Some serious bruising going on in and around that right thigh. May want to check a leg kick or two. Right hook attempt. Leg kick. Punch over the top. Single collar tie now. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Big leg kick lands. How good is that right hand? Not there. Outstanding kick there by Lou. Relax, relax. Oh, well, you can't enter the pocket there unprotected. You got to figure out a way to get your guard up a little bit. Another kick lands to the head there. And let's see if he and his corner can make the proper adjustments defensively to avoid any further head kicks here in this fight. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Duffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Ooh, what a punch. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. 90 seconds remain in the round. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight. And that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. Very, very oh, that's the biggest shot in the fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight. And it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on fights. When it all comes together, nothing feels better to go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired, nothing feels better.
Oh, that's a good strike there by Lee. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Big elbow! That was a thudding leg kick. Oh, nice right hand. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. 15 seconds remain in the round. Back and forth we go. 10 seconds to go in round four. Big kick. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. Last round. Not struck here. And more power shots and he's more aggressive this time. I need you. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his torso? Nasty. And they separate. He's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. It's a beautiful pass to jab with beating. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Beautiful body. He continues to work the body to great effect. Another kick landed there by Lee. Nice stupid punch. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. You've got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Nice kick. Finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left hook there. Not a fan sitting down. Knee to the body. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Let's get him down. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Oh, collar tie. And he lands the knee to the body now. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's gonna lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's gotta pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You gotta just start letting everything fly. Oh, nice. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. 
Right hand upstairs. Big head kick land. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Nice body kick. High-level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Lee. Nice leg kick. Whiffs on the straight right hand. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Lands with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shit guard, he takes all of that kick every time he goes. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Well, what a title fight it was, what a showcase it was for this division, but at the end of the day, the champion just did a little bit more and you got to think he gets the nod, right? I believe it was the championship experience that allowed him to push through in those spots that he needed to in order to keep his championship. I agree with you, J.A. I think he keeps his belt. Decision is in, it resides with Bruce Buff. Gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50 45. Play the winner by unanimous decision and still.